Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anur. In this video, I'm going to talk about very important theorem uh, in engineering and mechanics studies. Uh, that theorem is parallel axis theorem. Zare and Vadam was saying on a theorem in our island. Yadamo parallel axis theorem in Balal, but a little more engineering mechanics statics like who lay understand other good military theorem Solona Malat. Okay, so. Uh, in the case, if you want to calculate the moment of inertia of composite body, parallel axis theorem is very, very important, okay? So, if you remember in my video, I always uh, tell you just to understand this theorem, okay? Leila Amdomo, uh, there's application by civil engineering, uh, um, structural, uh, uh, the theory of structure, and there's an um, application alone, okay? So, uh, there's no concept too. For example, if I know moment of inertia of this arbitrary shape about uh, its centroidal axis, uh, x prime or c, simply I can calculate the moment of inertia about any axis which is parallel to uh, x prime, okay, for, for this case about x axis, okay, so totally the moment of inertia of about this new axis which is parallel to x prime, i x equals to i x prime bar plus a dy square, okay, so this is the formula. So my question is how we can drive this formula, okay, well, uh, know, let us first uh, talk about the theorem. If the moment of inertia for an area is known about a centroidal axis, we can determine the moment of inertia of the area about a corresponding parallel axis using the parallel axis theorem. Okay? Mendel know, using shape, moment of inertia about it is centroidal axis any axis parallel to this centroidal axis, calling you see moment of inertia Okay? So, know. For example, if you don't know the, uh, lo the location of this um, arbitrary shape, its centroid and its moment of inertia, simply you can take differential element dA, then you can integrate it, you can calculate moment of inertia about its centroidal axis. And this moment is known as I x prime bar whatever you want. Okay? okay, if I calculate that moment of inertia about this centroidal axis, simply by taking any axis parallel to this axis for example for x prime you can take also for y prime parallel axis okay so for this case if i take parallel axis to x prime which is x the distance between those two axes is dy so the new moment of inertia about this new axis which is parallel to x prime can be written as i x prime bar plus a dy square okay now and data are going to drive them another go. Okay, simply mean to know any moment of inertia. Mean to know since there are generally on a formula the integral of y prime plus dy square times dA. Okay, here mean to know it's the gallon differential area a bit location from this location to this new location x, which is parallel to uh, this axis. So that distance is y prime plus dy, so sin square other good times the differential area. Okay, so let's see. Uh, here in mathematics, simply, we don't know if, if, for example, if you remember x plus y, this uh, square set other good, we don't know uh, x square plus 2xy plus y square. Okay, therefore, let us expand this. Okay, expand the Nargo, here in form is at a normal. Okay, uh, so it allows you integral allo. In the middle, we have this integral term and also we have also here second integral term and we have also third integral term. Okay? Well, uh, the first term, if you, if you look at carefully, this is y prime square times dA, therefore, integral over the area, therefore, this is the moment of inertia of this uh, shape about it is centroidal axis, x prime. Therefore, this can be written as I x prime bar. Okay? Simple. Okay. The second term, uh, the second term is zero since the x prime axis passes through the area's centroid C. The C is Okay? So let's see. Yeah, formula is the centroid formula. So let's see. centroid formula is the rank of the centroid. So centroid see. This distance is automatically zero. So let's distance is the distance. Okay? Therefore, uh, uh, this equals to zero because uh, uh, this uh, y prime bar 
equal to 0 ስለሆነ ማለት ነው ምክንያቱም ከዚህ x prime ምንም distance ወደ ላይም ወደ ታችም አልሄደም ማለት ነው ስለዚህ በሴንተሩ ስለሚያልፍ 0 ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ this term is already 0 the third term represent the total area simple okay ምክንያቱም the integral of da a ላይ integrate ብታረጉት total area ይሰጣቸዋል ማለት ነው okay therefore this is equal to a finally ምንድን ነው የሚቀረው ix equals to i x prime bar plus a dy square ይሆናል ማለት ነው okay simple ስለዚህ ፎርሙላው በዚህ መልኩ ነው ድራይቭ የተደረገው ማለት ነው let us see one example okay let us read the question determine the moment of inertia for the rectangular area about the base x axis okay uh, here we have rectangular cross section so as you can see uh, this is a centroid of this section x prime and y prime passing through the centroid therefore we want to calculate moment of inertia about xb okay remember that xb is parallel to x prime okay the distance between x prime and xb is d therefore using the parallel axis theorem if i know the moment of inertia of this section about it is centroidal axis x prime simply i can calculate the moment of inertia about xb okay well ixb equals to ix prime bar plus a d square okay therefore ix prime bar equals to b h cubed over 12 okay tlezi bezu b no h allen therefore b h cubed over 12 yeah, simply you can uh, get this in any engineering mechanics textbook at the back okay tlezi kejerba hidachu mitagnyut formula yihonal matu you do memorize mitaregut simple yihona nager no okay lela a d square a d square malet area of this rectangular cross section times d square yen engidi sitabazut b h cubed over 4 nagenyallen malet no okay therefore i x b equals to b h cubed over 12 plus b h cubed over 4 this equals to b h cubed over 3 therefore ihe lamasayet yakkel no engidi parallel axis theorem በጣም አሪፍ የምትጠቀሙበት ኮምፖዚት የሆነ ባዲ ስኖር ለምሳሌ ሞመንት ኦፍ ኢነርሻ ኦፍ ኮምፖዚት ባዲ ስትሰሩ በጣም ይጣቀማቸዋል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ሞመንት ኦፍ ኢነርሻ የሰሩዋቸው ኤግዛምፕሎች አይ ዊል ፑት ኢን ዘ ዲስክሪፕሽን ቦክስ ዘ ሊንክስ ዘት አይ ዩዝድ ፓራለል አክሲስ ቴርም ዌን አይ ካልኩሌት ዘ ሞመንት ኦፍ ኢነርሻ ኦፍ ኮምፖዚት ባዲ ኦኬ ዘን ዩ ዊል ናው አንደርስታንድ ኢት ቬሪ ዌል ቴንክ ዩ